NASA's Voyager 2 mission, which flew past Uranus decades ago, helped shape scientists' knowledge of the planet, but also introduced some baffling mysteries. Recently, a new analysis of the mission's data has shed light on these. When Voyager 2 approached Uranus in 1986, it offered humanity its first, and so far only, close-up look at this unique, tilted outer planet. Alongside discovering moons and rings, scientists encountered puzzling findings, particularly around the planet's magnetic field and energized particles. Uranus's magnetic field didn't behave as expected, and its behavior stood out in our solar system. Now, new research has clarified that this unusual behavior was due to a cosmic coincidence. Just days before Voyager Voyager 2's arrival, an unusual space weather event compressed Uranus's magnetic field. This squashing effect meant Voyager 2 saw Uranus's magnetosphere in a state that only happens about 4% of the time. Had Voyager 2 arrived only a few days earlier, it would have observed a completely different magnetic environment around Uranus, said Jamie Jasinski of NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory and lead author of a study in nature astronomy. Magnetospheres, like the one around Earth, protect planets with magnetic fields from the sun's ionized gas or plasma. Understanding these fields is key for studying not just Earth, but also more remote parts of the solar system. In 1986, the magnetosphere around Uranus surprised scientists. It contained intense radiation belts, second only to Jupiter's, yet was nearly empty of plasma, an unusual combination. They were also puzzled by the lack of water ions which the planet's major moons should have produced, leading scientists to think the moons must be inactive. The recent analysis points to the solar wind as the cause. When plasma from the sun hit Uranus, it likely pushed plasma out of the magnetosphere, temporarily reducing it. This intense interaction also energized the magnetic field, injecting electrons and charging the radiation belts. This finding suggests some of Uranus's moons may actually be geologically active. Scientists now think these moons may have been releasing ions into the magnetosphere the entire time. Time. Renewed interest in Uranus, highlighted in the National Academy's 2023 Decadal Survey, has elevated it as a target for a future NASA mission. Linda Spilker, a scientist on the original Voyager 2 mission, recalls the excitement of the flyby and the mysteries it presented. The encounter was full of surprises, and the magnetosphere measurements only gave us a snapshot she said. This new work clears up some contradictions and reshapes our view of Uranus. Today, Voyager 2 is almost 21 billion kilometers from Earth, traveling through interstellar space. 